starting with one ball, just getting the throw right. What you want is for your receiving hand not to have to move at all, or much at all. The best way to do that, I find, is to sort of do under like that, in a sort of motion. So that just helps it go straighter up and down, and it gets you into the right kind of, uh, what's it called, the movement, the sort of, the momentum, the right momentum force that will help you when you finally get into it. Add in another ball. So, very simple, you just throw as before, and this time, when you throw it, just pass the other ball across. So, you should already be able to juggle with two balls. Technically, you are now a juggler, if you can do this properly. And then when you're done with that, you can just mix it up by throwing it the other way. It's pretty good to do that one again, but just with the third ball just held there between pad and thumb and those two fingers. So you're just doing the same, but holding this ball in here. Yeah. So that just gets you used to everything that you'd need to be doing. So let's just move on to doing two, but in the way that you would if you were about to do three. So you go throw, throw, catch, catch, no, throw, throw, catch, catch. Let, let's see that. <laughs> throw, throw, catch, catch. Yeah! Throw, throw, catch, catch. Okay, three balls. And we're just going to go for it. Is that okay with you? So just throw, 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 throw. If that didn't work for you, let's go over a few reasons why not. A lot of people when they start out may have like a sort of resistance from themselves. If you feel some sort of tension, then that is probably just that small fear of, oh, I can't do it, I'm not ready. So, if that's the case, just throw and don't care about catching. But just throwing and not catching makes me feel better because I'm a perfectionist -y control freak. Just throw, throw, and don't try and catch it. If it lands on there, that's great. If not, Notice how it doesn't matter. So let's move on to part two. Yeah. Okay, part two. This is a section where I tell you how to get better. You've got to find a way not to care mentally and physically. You have to beat your muscle memory, basically, and the only way to do that is by replacing it. So I guess that means practice. Physically is the hard one to teach yourself, because like, for example, if someone's throwing a ball at you, then you're either going to go, oh my god, I've got to catch it, or oh my god, deflect, or something, or just, oh my god. If you're really struggling to beat that sort of, oh my god mentality, this is going to sound ridiculous, but do this. Just throw the ball at yourself. Obviously don't bully yourself, that's bad. So you've got to try and find a way to fight all those years of sports, or, I don't know, bullying just knowing that it's okay and the only way to do that is just to keep going and not care about the outcome so I'd say main exercise is just do whatever the hell you want the best phase of learning juggling is in between when you've got the very very basic knack for it when you can do like at least two catches in a row and then turn into a windmill of bones and between actually being pretty good at it because between those two anything can happen it's amazing okay you can try uh, juggling with one hand which I'll show you from this side actually because you have to go in sort of circular motion for it in fact if you if you want to be a real expert you do that in one hand and then do it in the other hand at the same time with four balls but that would be crazy you can try uh, throwing it in a different way, like if you put a spin on it, that would be pretty cool. Uh, you could try catching it like that as well. <laughs> Just throw yourself curveballs and try and catch them any way you can. You can try really small ones, really high, really high, or like really wide. You could try doing ones of music, so like one, two, three, up. One, two, three, hop. Do it one-handed. Oh. 
You could try doing this little exercise. It's not much to do if you're actually juggling, but it helps with like coordination and how well your hand works. So your girlfriend will appreciate that. What? What? Sitting down. Uh oh. And you can change. Look. You can change your perspective. So you can do it looking and focusing on the balls, or you can look straight out. You could do it while you're watching TV. This one is not a good idea. Oh. Oh, 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 oh. oh my god! If you play cricket and you know how to do curveballs, that could be interesting. But basically, all you've got to do is keep going, make it fun. Those are the main things. Actually, the fundamentals don't particularly matter. It's a nice thing to aim for one day, but mostly it's just fun. Also, wow. sometimes people have problems with this because their hand isn't used to doing that quite so often, quite so quick, whatever. A few ways to get around it. There's that one's always a good one, the two-handed, no, the one-handed juggle. Or you could just stand around doing this for ages. You could make a competition out of it. Anyway, whatever, it's actually very useful and it makes it makes a huge difference to your grip ability and just general speed and dexterity and so on so forth. So, um, I think that's it. I think I've done everything. God, that's taken forever. Um, okay, so yeah, so next time. Yeah, okay, so next time, uh, I will be talking paranormal stuff. I'm gonna teach you some nice ghost themed things in sort of celebration of a nice thing that I've done recently, which is gonna be really fun. I can't wait to see. I'll link you to it as soon as it's up. Um, but yeah, so, I'll be talking all things ghostly, so expect Ouija boards, hauntings, origins of uh, mediums, and similar such things. Whatever I can remember that's sort of related along those lines, because I think that's probably enough for one video. Anyway, we'll see. I will see you next video. Tune in next time. Oh, this is cool. Bye! <clears throat> Basically, I taught myself juggling. So, I might not actually be teaching you right, but I am teaching you fun! First thing you need to get sorted is your basic stuff. Like your script. Once you've got your technique sorted out, you can go on to... Uh, what am I saying?